Hello from beautiful Mabul Island. So we thought a lot about whether or not we should make this video about Mabul. I mean, on one side, this is an absolute paradise. It's like, incredible. Look at the surroundings yeah. <laughs> and the diving here. So this place is known as one of the best diving spots in the world. And the diving and has been We don't epic. know if it is, but like for us, like it has been life changing. Mm -hmm. I can't stop thinking about turtles. Nothing will ever. We've seen dozens of turtles, yeah, yeah. like the size of small cars. Yeah. <laughs> it's been amazing. On the other side, there's, I think, another side of the island that you don't see online. And for us, it was kind of shocking. Like when we arrived here the first day. A little bit heartbreaking, too. Yeah, we were shocked and, and sad. And. So now you're wondering why. Yeah. So. This island of Mabul, it has a little bit of a trash problem. Yeah. And obviously that's like a multi-layered issue, mm -hmm. but it's honestly the worst that we've seen anywhere during our travels. Yeah. And we can't imagine how it could get worse than yeah. what we see on the actual island. Yeah, it is devastating, especially because you see how these people are living like in trash and also mm -hmm. like people come here to dive. So everyone like loves the ocean. And even though there's a lot of marine life and it is beautiful, like there's also a lot of trash mm -hmm. in the water. And why we decided to make this video is kind of like an FYI if you're coming here because I still think that it is worth coming here. Like, yeah. It's spectacular. So for context, we're here with some other couples and they were also very surprised by what they saw on the actual island. Like yeah. there's not a single square meter where you can just like sit on a beach and relax. Yeah. Besides for one resort. The paid yeah, beach very, inside very, the resort. Very expensive resort. Yeah. Uh, but besides for that, it's just literally the most I'm um, shocking yeah, yes. that we've ever seen. But I don't know what our message will do to make the plastic problem better or the yeah. garbage problem. Uh, I don't know, but it's I just an FYI for people that are coming here. Like if you're not a diver, then you're not going to have a yeah, I think super so. lovely time, mm -hmm. I guess. I think so. But on the other hand, again, we want to stress that we really have had a great time here mm -hmm. with the people. They're so kind. Also the villagers on the island, so many They're friendly so smiles. Kind. And yeah. Everyone's trying to practice their English with you. It's just the reality of... Yes. So like where we're staying, it, even though it's a little bit more rustic than I thought it would be, like it's like you are with the owner like he yeah. takes care of you i don't think you will get better service anywhere no, this place else is awesome, in the island sure. this place is amazing it's a very rustic overwater bungalow uh -huh. and then you step i guess outside the front door and we're just on a stilt village uh -huh. it's been very cool we'll like, show you we're gonna yeah. walk that way um with the camera so we can show you we'll try to be like it's a little the most bit unique discreet. neighborhood we've ever lived in yeah for sure. yeah it is really cool and now like we're day three here and it feels like home like we were quite shocked the first day but yeah. now we kind of have gotten like used to the vibe here and obviously we have done the best dives of our lives mm -hmm. and it's, it's been, been incredible. very special underwater. Yeah. Can we have three? Three? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, three. Yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. Yeah. Two. Uh, three. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Fresh coconut delivered to our dock. How cool is that? Look at the size of this thing. Thank you. It's bigger than your head. Bye bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> we heard from our host that these are picked, I guess, from the coconuts in the graveyard, so they have extra nutrients. <laughs> we didn't eat the pears in Romania. Yeah. But <laughs> we'll drink coconut water from the cemetery. <laughs> It's really good. So you probably don't know this about me, but I'm from Venezuela. I grew up in Venezuela. And when I was a teenager, I decided that I didn't like coconut water, but our friends here told us to try it. And the cemetery coconut water is pretty good. 
But we know what we're going to put it in the fridge and we'll have it later because apparently it tastes way better when it's cold. So this is nice. So another thing that has been very special about staying here in Mabu is that there is an ethnic group that I think is protected by UNESCO. They're called sea gypsies and I don't know if that's the proper term for them. I don't know their actual ethnic group. We'll put it here. But they are nomadic sea people. So right now mm -hmm. they're living in boats off the coast of uh -huh. Mabul. They rarely, if ever, go onto the mainland. Mm -hmm. So in the afternoons, you can see them fishing uh, in the shallows. And they come by, and some of them have uh, some kind of like face paint. It's yeah. been really cool just to learn about them and to see to how see they them. Yeah. Like, it's so you crazy. can buy coconuts from them every afternoon, and yeah. it's cool to support and their fish. livelihood yeah. fish as well. But also, like, didn't you see like a like the documentary that they're like the yeah, best, yeah they're like, the best free divers, divers in, in the, the world. world. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they're. I think they can go under for like 10, 15, 20 minutes. And I also read, this is on Wikipedia, that some, some of them spend five hours a day underwater. So they're just fascinating people and it's they live crazy. right here. Right below us is basically a mini coral reef. There might be a blue ring. It's like a it could be, yeah. Uh huh. I'm filming that. Oh my God. No, oh, he just turned yellow. What a psycho. I think it's time to show you around the mainland so you can see how cool is this our little neighborhood. Our neighborhood yeah. yeah. You'll get a little better perspective of how it looks on the actual island. Yes, we'll show you definitely like the trash problem, uh -huh. uh, but we'll try to be respectful of people. But sometimes they like cameras, so they yeah. will we'll try to not show much of that. But just to give you like a really like a glimpse of how it is and we're also gonna we're also gonna show you the other side of the island which is where all the fancy resorts are and they're more over like fancier overwater bungalows. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Time to hit the hood. This is so cool. The first time that we walk here, we just realized that we were like living like with the locals basically. So these are all homes. They actually like live here and our hotel was built like right next to it, like facing west side. So we have like the best sunsets. But this was like our favorite part when we arrived, like just being here because this is so different and unique. We saw like the jetties in Georgetown and this is kind of like that, right? Like a, it's a jetty. It's a, but not touristy at all. Yeah, not too Yeah, exactly. Well, how cool. Uh -huh. How it's cool. amazing. Like we're part of the neighborhood. Oh my god. They're fighting. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So this behind us is the little neighborhood mosque and it's really cool because Ramadan actually started yesterday or the day before. They had a very long call to prayer yesterday that went for hours, essentially. <laughs> and it's just cool to see how they're living over here. I think most of the people living in Mabul are undocumented immigrants from the Philippines. And I think that's a big reason why they don't get a lot of social support to, I guess, improve the conditions. That's what we heard from our hosts. But they all have huge smiles and they like to talk to us. So we feel very fortunate to be here because it's really the most foreign place I think we've ever mm -hmm. been. Yeah, so far. Yeah, it's very unique.
Those kids are sticking their tongue out. There's a rooster in the thing. Hello. Okay. Hey, kiddos. Hello. Stop. Oh. <laughs> nice. GoPro. A good camera. <laughs> <laughs> Just gave high five to the neighbors. I'm dead. He was very excited. <laughs> They're cute. As you can tell, we've changed clothes. We had to hurry back to the hotel to go for our last dive of the day. And honestly, I'm not just saying this, this might've been my favorite dive of my entire life. It was It amazing. was so beautiful, amazing. But now we walk to the other side of the island. It takes about five minutes to cross the island. And this is where more of the upscale resorts are and dive shops. I think one of the resorts is like 1,000 euros per night. Mind blowing, but it's also one of the places where you see more of the ocean garbage problem happening. And it's kind of weird because we think this is one of the things that could be done better by the resorts and the different dive shops where there's like a win-win to improve the conditions here, I guess. So we heard from the guy that runs our hotel that the World Wildlife Federation was here several years back and they paid the locals to clean up the trash and the island was pristine, but then COVID happened and something fell through and it's no longer happening. But we think there's some kind of win-win and we yeah. wish we knew a better way to, I don't it know, think about it and resolve it. So there's a lot of money being made here and somewhere the locals need to get involved to help protect where they live and also it's just like a more long-term sustainable venture that way you know like the locals will have more money from tourists if more people come here if it's cleaner so it's better for the reef yeah better for the reef of course so just to show you guys how it is here in Mabul Craziest thing that just happened, the guy that you just saw walk behind the screen, he's actually, I think, one of the managers or owners of one of the bigger dive resorts here. And we just mentioned like a, there should be a win-win situation here, but it seems like a lot of the resorts are trying to do something, but it's like a huge political issue. So there is an NGO on the island and they're trying to get buy-in from the minister of, I don't know, I guess the state of Sabah or Malaysia to help clean up around here. So there are people trying to make this place better, but it's just such a complex social and i don't know governmental issue that it's very slow moving so i take back that resorts aren't doing anything about this yeah. it seems like they obviously do care you know this is their livelihood they love the island they love the people here so yeah very interesting so we're going to go check out if the ngo is open and see if we can get some more information but yeah let's find rachel let's find rachel <laughs> that was so crazy that that just happened, right? Very, very good timing. Oh, sorry, you guys are moving a little bit. We're back in our little tower, just in time for sunset, but we have to tell you about what happened. So we spoke to Rachel, you wanna see? Yeah, one of the bigger dive resorts, and she talked to us about the different initiatives that they have going on through their resort to do different things like save the turtles and yeah. also work with the locals to alleviate the plastic problem. Mm -hmm. But just like the complications and challenges that they're facing, in terms of like resources and like social, infrastructure, with, like, the social with the community, like education, like a million things. Yeah. And they share like their website with us and we're going to link it in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, if you like, we're going to try to donate like, like yeah, what we, we can, can, like, yeah, sure. please like consider like doing that. So what she mentioned too, mm -hmm. I think this is interesting, is that it's so easy to get money for turtle hatching. So like saving the turtles, but for picking up plastic, it's like an entire different issue. It's like mm -hmm. not sexy and no one wants to donate. Yeah. So. It's the difficult for them fine, to get funding. Yeah. But like the, yeah. if you, yeah, the plastic is pretty big here, but we're really conservative in like what we showed you because yeah. like we don't want to obviously to like exploit that, but it's, uh -huh. it's, it's hard. It's, it's not pretty. It's I think what was very interesting too, is that they are excited for this word to get out mm -hmm. that we're like making this video and showing all sides of Mabul. Cause mm -hmm. like there has to be awareness about yeah. like both people need to know. Situation. And this place is so special and we only spend like three nights here and we fell in love even though it was really shocking at the mm -hmm. beginning once we were diving like walk around town and like seeing like everyone like smiling and everyone just being so nice so we're super excited this video was like 
bouncing all over the Crazy, place like a ping pong like, ball. Yeah, and, like the things and, just and develop and we decided to like include it in the video as well. And this is like our goodbye to Malaysia that we were so disappointed like two days ago. We didn't even want to make yeah, this Yeah, this is like the grand we finale. So we thought sad. we were coming to paradise and then we saw all the trash like, oh no. Like, yeah, and it was heartbreaking, but now it, it feels like it was like the perfect goodbye almost, yeah, you know, I to love, like do something. Love yeah. Despite all the blemishes. This yes, place exactly. Is so cool. This place is so, so special. We cannot wait to be back. Malaysia, I mean, you're Thanks awesome. Thanks for the warm welcome. Thanks for the friendly smiles. All the hellos, all the what's your name, all the questions, all like the food, obviously. Yeah, the food. The people here are something we'll that. We'll be back for more because we just scratched the surface to Malaysia. Yes, we will. So. We still have one more video to share. Um, it's like a longer video about like Malaysia, kind of like a travel guide. And in that video, we'll share what's next because things have taken a turn in our life. Um, <laughs> we probably don't even know what's next, but we don't stay know. Tuned. Yeah, but stay tuned. Again, thank you. We'll give you a proper goodbye in the next video because that's like officially your last video. Mm -hmm. But Malaysia, I mean, terima this, is, terima this is, this place is awesome. Like Malaysia is incredible and we had no idea. Of, is, does he have coconuts? I don't think he's selling coconuts. Oh, he is selling coconuts. He's selling stuff. Oh, he is? Yeah. Should I oh, get should some? We, we should get some coconuts. Malaysia, we love you. Thank you for watching. Thank Leave you. questions in the comments. Check the description. Donate. Bye. Thanks for watching. Coconut, please. Thank you. Thank you. It never gets old. Money well spent. <laughs> the perfect goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> also, funny to note, I don't think they speak Malaysian. <laughs> so I say Terima Kasih. And it's just like, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Time for the sunset. Yeah. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the Malaysia Travel Series. We'll see you in the last Malaysia video. Bye. Enjoy the sunset.